Can I tell you guys what's been stuck in my head since Saturday morning's uh, 45 minute Dennis Morton Beatles ride? It's one of, I, I enjoy your last few minutes of peace before I, I ruin your mind with this, okay? Because it's such an insidious little earworm. It just gets in between your ears and it's so short and, and digestible and viral. <clears throat> it goes like this. Oh, blah, D, oh, blah, da, life goes on, bruh, on, oh, honey, life goes on. It's just normal, oh, blah, D, oh, blah, da, but he says, bruh, in the middle for some reason. Jensen every morning in the marketplace. Billy is the batter in the box. Want to see your mother, she comes round my place, and if I like her, maybe she will suck my what? Oh, oh, blah, dee, oh, blah, da, life goes on, bruh, da, 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 life goes on. Dude, I was but reading I about, Chad gaslit me. For like three years, I've been asking, like, there's no way stage hypnosis where people go on stage and then a hypnotist convinces them that, like, their feet are on fire or whatever. There's no way that shit is real. And they're like, no, it's 100% real. I looked it up on Wiki <laughs> Wiki Wikipedia's got, like... The history of it is like one line, and then skepticism is like seven essay length passages back to back. Wait, is it real or no, not? No, it's, it's not just... real. They like they use uh, stooges for one. To the, like the three yeah. stooges. They well, sometimes uh, here's the thing: it's Larry... so fucked up. They only need one. They they only right. need curly. Which one would they pick out of the three? Which one is the most stooge like of the three? It's got to be the the bald one. Yeah, what about the dude with the fucking crazy curly ass hair like that comes out oh, Sideshow Mo? Bob style? Is that Mo? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's curly. Larry. I think Larry that's curly. 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 Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, there is a curly, isn't there? <laughs> Larry, curly, and Mo. Mo is the Mo is the 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 main guy, right? With the cereal bowl haircut. I think so, yeah. Yeah. The Beatles He's haircut. He's the leader of the pack. What which one goes? Yum, 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 yum. That's yum, the bald yum, guy. That's oh, the bald, bald guy. guy goes, yum, 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 yum. And, yeah, because yeah. that's the whole thing. I think you should leave the bald guy. Uh, goes, yum, 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 and then he pokes her in the eyes. <laughs> and which which one is the one where he looks like he's going to hit them? So he winds up his arm like in a big <clears throat> circle and then he punches them with his left arm. Man, I don't think chat's going to know what the fuck we're talking about, because I don't think Three Stooges have ever been on social media or anything, right? <laughs> you like, don't think there's old. an ad Three Stooges? There's no TikTok I've, 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 the Three I've Stooges. Gift, I've gifted them before. They're, they're like, have you? Hey, yeah. guys, it's uh, the 133rd annual Three Stooges Day. Uh, post your favorite <laughs> Three Stooges gifts on Twitter, please. <laughs> I wonder if there's a Three Stooges like uh, fan Twitter account, you know, like that posts every day, just posts like a Three Stooges quote or maybe like a funny, a funny like, uh, you know, picture or, you know, a video clip every day. I feel like at Three Stooges is like they have one tweet from like 2014 and it's like the complete Three Stooges is finally available on DVD. <laughs> and then they, they have not made another tweet in the DVD yeah because well, com <laughs> comedy's been liberated on Twitter now. I don't know if you guys have heard. Like uh, it's been a funny weekend. Be, you're free to be really funny on Twitter now. So I think this Three Stooges fan account on Twitter is a good way to start that off. Right? They can like, finally yeah, come back. If we're gonna if we're gonna be funny, let's set the bar really fucking high for for funny. The Three Stooges. Uh, fan account on Twitter, and then everything else will have to Dude. somehow one up that, if possible. I it's doubt true. it. It's true. Three Stooges content is perfect for TikTok because they got all those Simpsons accounts and stuff. You know, like the they post like the Simpsons Daily quote Simpsons of the day, yeah, best best clips or whatever. Random yeah. restaurant. It's always an Ube Cafe, and it's always Ube Cafe <laughs> Jersey where I got coffee from one time on my way to work. I'm thinking of going for something a little bit. Different. Oh, oh, sure there's what. a real tweet. The Three Stooges hashtag NFT on auction at Open Let's go, tomorrow. dude. Did it sell tomorrow? At April 28th. Don't be a knuckle head. Get your bid in. I don't know. I, I, I hope it's old. Let me go check out uh, three. For negative, negative money. Three Stooges NFT. Let's check out this collection. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just looking up the activity. Um, yeah. It has zero ETH total volume, which I think is pretty bad. <laughs> I think that's like as low as it goes. 
What do you think is the best costume? Oh, that's good. I'm going to take this one. Oh, the, the veggie hot dog. It has no it? sales in history. Nobody owns nobody owns any of these? No, nobody owns any Three Stooges NFTs? That, that doesn't seem possible. Yeah, because they're not going away. They're forever. It doesn't seem possible that you found this exciting niche is what you mean, right? Well, this like, is like, uh, yeah, buy low. It's a buy opportunity. Get yeah. in there early and then uh, just watch the profits roll in. Let me see what's going on here. There's Flip flops. A, I'm going to sort feed. by... If I could sort by price high to low, because I don't want to waste my time with a bunch of chaff, you know, if I could just get the, the wheat straight up. How mm -hmm. about this one? It's the Three Stooges. They're all reaching for a Bitcoin symbol on the carpet, and they're going like, yeah, because they, they can't quite get to it. <laughs> that was listed um, at a tenth of an ETH last year and is not sold yet. That was listed by the original company that bought the rights <laughs> and then the three stooges are going bonkers for bitcoin what do you imagine they're saying curly whoop 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 get, whoop, get, whoop, get, whoop, get. whoop 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 larry <laughs> hey what's the big idea mo get your grubby mitts away from that crypto or i'll moita the both of you <laughs> this unique piece of memorabilia is number one in an edition of 30. No further editions of this NFT will be minted. Except, except for the fucking the 30 you already did. Man, I would I would buy an NFT of Mo, but like he's he's posing like Tupac with his shirt off, looking like sad or whatever, but he's still got his three stooges like haircut and everything, but Absolutely. maybe just a couple of tats just to, to make like the link or whatever. I would buy that. I would be a proud owner of that, actually. I think that'd be good. Would yeah, you make it your, crossover. your Twitter profile photo? Yeah, I would, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I'd be so... I, I would I would try to, like, you know, make people jealous. Mm -hmm. Zach Efron almost has a Mo-esque Mo haircut. He, he uh... The, there's a, a photo of him. People are like, he, he looks kind of like a weird Shrek. Uh, somebody Zach in chat Efron. just said that would be perfect for AR art. So what do you do it, for AI art? You say... Uh, Mo from the Three Stooges, but to, he's Tupac, and then they it would you'd have like one of those big you know like you know when they like uh, graffiti spray paint like a really impressive looking mural on the side of a building and it's like Tupac with his like bandana on his head and he's like looking solemn or whatever, but it would be Mo yeah. from the can we, Three Stooges. Can we get stuff. that as today's uh, today's midship? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Not okay. curly Joe, no. Not cur not even curly. I hate curly. What the frick? Uh, Mo or what's the other guy's name? Hold Larry. 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 Fuck Larry. you, you bald prick. Larry, you fucking <laughs> asshole. You shithead. <laughs> Fuck you, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh. I invited you. <laughs> I invited you. By Mal, the way, where the Mal. hell are you? <laughs> I I don't have an invite. I've, um, I've invited you like at least. <clears throat> 30 times. Hey, I fell down the stairs this weekend. Yeah, three three stairs, man. I don't Did know. you have ravioli? Yeah, yeah the good one. It's Did only, you, uh, the last time I heard that, I fell off my dinosaur about a million times uh. this weekend. <laughs> Did you injure yourself um, during your fall? Only like in the in your my pride. pride. Yes, exactly. Right. So I'll tell you what happened. I don't want to brag. It's actually because I'm like such a like good person you don't want to break him up, like, the, the reason i fell down the stairs a lot of people was like oh because you're old or you're stupid or you're uncoordinated <laughs> it's actually like i i've lost some weight this year so nice i was fuck. like a couple Good. like on friday i was like oh i need to like like change my pants i've been wearing these pants for like a week straight <laughs> so i was going into the drawer trying to find some pants and the only pair of pants i could find was like a 34 and it didn't fit right, and they were like slacks, basically. And even with my belt fully done up, they were still like the cuffs were dragging a little bit on the ground. Yeah, wore them anyway, you know, because uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And then uh, Saturday, coming down the stairs, not really thinking uh, too carefully, slip on the the cuff. It's, it's it's I mean it's silk. It's the slipperiest fabric known to man. Holy um, <laughs> next thing I know, I'm I'm down. I'm face planted on the the hardwood, and then I said, well, like I was a little hurt, but I got over it in like five minutes. And then I went out and I bought some new pants. Nice.
Man, if I put 34s on, uh, they look like uh, they're like workout pants. Like they're they're so tight. Like I can't even. I'm like bursting out of them. It's I funny. Need, I, I, assume, I need, I need yeah. bigger pants. I just have like uh, I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you. I just have like a narrow waist and like a fat yeah. fucking ass. <laughs> I got like a like a a huge. It's an unfortunate ass. combo, yeah. So I, it's not really that I'm like a skinny guy. I just have a narrow like I'm I'm kind of built like um like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> nice. Except I nice. also don't really have a wide chest. It's I'm kind of like right. I mean, I'm kind of built like a like a pyramid. You know, like yeah. a really wide bottom and a really <laughs> narrow. Kind, kind are you short? Literal pyramid. How tall are you? Scheme. I'm uh. It's 5'10". He's 5'10". 175 okay. centimeters. Right, okay. Uh, you're not that... You're not... You're not short. I wouldn't say you're short. How, how, well, 5'10 you, is you a say I can smell the, the six-foot privilege coming off of you right now. Well, what about you, Malf? How tall are you, Malf? I'm a 5'6er. I'm a oh short Oh my king. god, man. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Get it together. It's your five six. Yeah. Man. I'll, I'll still kick your ass. Okay. True, yeah. true. Well, I'm like fucking uh, double your height, so you're 11 foot two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm a natural minute bull here. I just uh, that's like 1.5 minute bulls. <laughs> it's, uh, I've got I got a lot of uh, I got I, I got a lot of got a lot of footage. Holy uh, cow! Yeah. You're like Tall. you're taller than like the tallest building in Denmark. Yeah, I can't even sit in the front seat of my car. I gotta take the front seats out, sit in the back. <laughs> drive, he's driving drive. from the, he's driving his Honda Odyssey from the third my row. Pokes out of the yeah. sunroof. Mm. I had a similar thing with the pants, but like it's worse because um, oh well, dang! The hell? Wait, wait, Earlier this queue. year, I like I bought they were on sale, which is why I bought them. But I hadn't bought pants in a while, so I bought like four pants and then four pants. Four pants. Love it. You try Ten. them on until you find the best fitting pair and then get four colors. Well, they fit. That was the thing. But then I proceeded to like, you know, I've been losing weight and working out and all that stuff. So now I just got four pants that just, they they don't fit. Uh, now, on when the did waist. you guys start working out and losing weight? Like, why didn't you tell me? Because I, like this whole time I've been packing it on. Like I, I just figured <laughs> uh, everyone else was too. Well, your kid is End still of April. under like a year old, right? True. Yeah. That's packing. No, no, on. she just over. It. Oh, Only well, then what's your it, what's your excuse? Well, uh, just uh, just lazy and uh, slovenly as well. Like, well, okay. fair enough. Can't help myself. Hey, man, you yeah, best time to start was twenty years ago. Second best time is now. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to then. Still don't want to now. <laughs> my diet is like fucked up, but my exercise habits are like rock solid. I'm now at the point where I'm like. I'm not really exercising to like lose weight. I'm like exercising so I can still eat like a dumbass, and it'll yeah. only like kill me. It won't make me Wait. look like pure garbage. <laughs> oh, what? Stay on target. No, oh, I can do it. I, but I, I'm behind. They what missed, are you guys? These guys aren't gonna get it. Oh, I look at all of us are here. Come oh. on, I could not. Oh, we didn't win. This guy's shouting, "Let's go." <laughs> we, I, we got our ass From kicks. my angle, it looked like we got it. <laughs> oh, look, uh, he's got the uh, He Man sword. Look at by that. the power Holy of Grace, go! I was born in 2005, by the way. When was your Holy oldest crap. kid born? 2011. Oh, you know, I thought he'd be older than that. No, he's turning 11 uh, this year. In December, actually, in like uh, less than a month. What are you going to get him for his birthday? Oh. He plays. He games a lot now. V -Bucks. He bought um. He bought uh, Mario Striker League on the weekend, which is pretty fun. Mm. Uh, Mario, should, honestly, uh, get him, get him a soccer survival kit. He he bought Mario Strikers Charged uh, seven months after it came out. Yeah, you might yeah. want to get him a book on like personal finance. What well, if it was on sale? I mean, he was saving up all of his like uh, allowance money. Yeah, Ryan, who's the like, jerk now sorry, he had like a sorry. whole bag of coins he had that this huge bag of coins and he was like uh can we go to town so i can buy this game and i was like you're you're not robin hood you're not going to town with like a big bag of golden coins Green like we need to go to the bank and get <laughs> we need to get this bag. turned into something acceptable to exchange for um for goods so I had to tell. So I went to the bank, and there's they've got this machine. You just dump a bunch of coins in, mm -hmm. and like in two seconds, it just figures out. 
all the coins that you dumped in and this, gives you uh, paper money. This is this is my new favorite bit is uh, Sips being enamored by the existence of Coinstar, which has existed <laughs> since like <laughs> the year 2000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I live like on every a small island. Store. I've, I've lived on a small <laughs> island for like 20 years. Like uh, we're like 100 years behind over here. Like, uh, I, I, I'm easily impressed. It's pretty cool though. Apparently yeah, it takes like 10%, but honestly, like, you know, it deserves. Worth it. They did all the work. Oh, I used to have one of those like um like a plastic board and you would just feed coins into the top of it and then it would sort by their thickness and and sort them yeah. for you. I'm dead by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm still I'm, yeah. I'm 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 still kicking here. Hard. Oh, oh. Shit, I know I No, I'm still alive. Soon. I am dead. You guys can do it. Yeah, I believe. Wow, it's legit just, just math. one one know. unlucky ball. It might be mathematically impossible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> okay, leave, 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 leave. I don't watch uh, shows that don't challenge me. So I'm I'm right. thinking that like Ted Lasso season three, if they want to pull me in, episode one, both um, like Ted Lasso's love interest and also his best footballer get kidnapped by like the villain's henchmen and then wait put... who is his love interest um... there was, they're gonna oh yeah his Ma the, maybe a maggie what's her, gyllenhaal what's her type. name um no no it was uh what's her name sissy or something um the friend right or was that just a one night stand i can't remember what happened at the end of season two of ted lasso now I've listen i've never even seen the show but here's what i'm thinking okay it's a good show <laughs> is they're it both is good, yeah. then then like the villain is like ted lasso you can only choose one to save there's not enough time and then he gives them the location and then like the love interest thinks like hey you're gonna save me right and then you know the, the footballer is like save the girl save the girl save Martha. <laughs> i like ted lasso but i'm i'm i think it's the last season season three is gonna be the last season of it yeah I, i'm, I'm not fine I'm, I'm good with that honestly that's, like, yeah I, that's I a good it's enough yeah. ted lasso for me do you think they'll do the the thing where um there's like two fairies that have both been wired with explosives <laughs> and each fairy has the remote to blow up the other fairy to save them. God, I hope so. And Ted Lasso's got to like so. mediate and convince them not to blow up the fairies. It might um, happen. I yeah, mean, I, I mean, I happens. wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Is you that uh, <laughs> is that a Marvel Universe thing? Like, does that is that That's happening? Batman. In, is the oh, Dark Batman, Knight, yeah. Right. It's a dark night. Do you think that the, they're going to do the, the classic thing where um, Morgan Freeman agrees to turn on the Patriot Act for Gotham City where they can use every camera and every cell phone in the yeah. city to find the Joker? And then Morgan Freeman says, fine, quits, but this will be the last time. And then <laughs> like immediately they're just doing that shit like nonstop in the next movie. What? Uh, he quit, what yeah, he quit, What's though. the deal with Morbius? Mm. And also, mm. if you've played enough Snap, and have seen the card Morbius in the yes. game. Is Morbius uh, popular enough to warrant having a card in the game? Well, like, when you consider I, I mean, I guess the Marvel Universe, man. When yeah. you consider some of the other cards in the game, I think it's uh, I think it's appropriate. Like I don't know who the hell like Moon Girl is or like uh, Angela. No, who the hell is she, Angela, dude? She looks every... like some like a Viking. Monica. Or <laughs> Monica. <laughs> every every deck has Angela in it. They drop her on turn two. Is it Man, Angela I got a, like a office? rainbow foiled Angela now. I, I use her so much. It's a great card. I can understand it's why. Good. It's a really good card. Morbius man. is a Marvel superhero who gets um, plus one. Does he get more powerful as people discard things? Yeah, that's how he works in Snap. I've never seen it before. So somebody throws out like uh, an old refrigerator. He gains power? Yes. He hangs out Holy next, shit. To, next to the <laughs> That's dumpster. Blown my mind. <laughs> so every time I throw something in the trash, this guy's getting stronger? Yeah, he's Fuck. like... He's, <laughs> Run for the hills! He's the most powerful Marvel superhero now by a factor of about a thousand. <laughs> we got so much garbage. No, he's like a vampire. I think he's just a vampire. What is, it, what's the, what is it with vampires? Like, why is vampire stuff become so popular? Like... Because it's sexualized, you know? Everybody's horny. I think there's... That's why Tum Tumblr, Tumblr's gonna be happy, too. 
Tumblr is is done now, though, isn't it? Or no, they're almost? bringing porn back, so they're. <laughs> oh, right. okay, good. Guys, that's why I tweeted last night. I was like, Ryan, you want to make some Tumblr content? Oh. You know, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I understand now. Jesus, I understand. I am. Joke yeah. now. I'm. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Well, shit, it's happening. <laughs> like they're bringing it back. It's it's like, happening. There's, there's been a I'm drought uh, of pornography, <laughs> adult content. I'm like, I well, basically they're cut, like, cut on two green things. When they got rid of porn, they basically they shot the themselves in the head so they're like well we could either <laughs> exist <laughs> or not only fans almost uh did away with the with porn but then we're gonna make they it didn't the lose way. their uh agreements with uh visa was or mm. whatever and we're like no we're not getting rid of porn because i guess they just would have been dead right without Without like the adult side of yeah, I think it's like yeah, being uh, like a, da size. a dairy. If you're like, hey, you can't sell milk anymore. It's like, what well, isn't it just like OnlyFans is like adult content and then like self-aware, ironic, non-adult content that's like, hey, I'm gonna start an OnlyFans and then it's just like pictures of food or but, something. But so there's no there's no OnlyFans of like uh, you know like there's not a guy on there called Woodworker Steve and he like has an OnlyFans where he he does like some whittling or, or something like no, that'd be like on that. patreon patreon's patreon. got that mm, on that's true because there, there's got to be artists and stuff on only fans right like people who yeah i just think because stuff. it's so the porn is so prevalent that like people don't want to be like associated <laughs> with the platform for non porn right, stuff chat. you guys are too horny sometimes I didn't mean it like that. I meant, you know, I'm trying trying to think of a uh, of a. Oh my god, Mal! The fan got me, dude. The fan got me. I saw the yeah. whole thing. It was the <laughs> the like... this way. Wait, if the fan <laughs> comes this way, are we are we toast? No, no, no. Oh, you can. No, withstand. just don't be at the edge like I was but, while okay. jumping. I couldn't. But it, look at how slow <laughs> these things are moving, man. I was going the wrong. I, dude, I was, I was just. <laughs> I'm thinking of a grappling. dude whittling like a wooden dildo or something on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> oh! They have that on wooden on wooden I'm sure fans they only do. Fans? I'm sure they do. Ooh. Oh shit. Now where is this uh, so I can avoid it? Um <laughs> for research. <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody just fell in the soup. We I think we might win this, by the way. It's you and me, that's a scary thought. Oh, is that you? Yeah, that's okay. me. Malph had he got killed by an unblockable uh, obstacle. <laughs> Here, I, I gotta I gotta go. You can grab. You yeah, can that's grab, what I was thinking. You know? I gotta go like I gotta sack myself a little bit. Ooh, oh no <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -oh. I was I was trying to grab as well There's and it lot just of, did not work. It's a lot of pressure, dude. You can't both be grabbing. That's. Yeah. I should never have tried to grab in the wind against ah! Windwalker Inc. Oh, Whoa! What a save! What a big save. It's chaos. Grab him. Grab his ass. Ooh! Yes! Let's go! That's the guy, that's the guy that got me out. I believe in you, Ryan. Oh. You, did, you did it! Oh, go, you, you did it! I did do it! <laughs> you did do it! Oh, man. Yes. God, I love winning games. Oh, winning games that's... I never win Jump Showdown. That I I oh, choke 98% of the time. That Are you guys watching crazy. me do this right now? No, I just landed in a hay. No, no, I missed it. Oh, you got the Assassin's Creed. The uh, Assassin's yeah, I don't Creed. Even know how I have that? Cringe. <laughs> Man. All right. I'd love it if there was like uh, in in Tarkov as well, but in this game, I'd love it if there was a almost like a guild or like a group hideout that you could share with like a, a group. Oh, that of would friends. be so, like, sick, actually, like a guild. But it, right. it, but it was something that that. You know, like it was like it had kind of like it was almost like Rust, you know, base building in Rust, but like instance, like like you know, aside from the game, yeah, with all the same stuff that Tarkov has, but you could bring all the stuff back from a run and put it into like containers and stuff and build up the base and like if you just wanted to spend all your time farting around in the base, building it up and helping your your friends or whatever, you could yeah. do that as well. And maybe you like, could like grief your friends' base by yeah, like you could you could put, using uh, a flint and steel on their home tree accidentally. You could put like a, you, you, if if it allowed you to upload like uh, images and stuff to to gussy up your base. 
you could upload like uh like you know like one pixel white images that so it, nobody be able to see them and then like on christmas morning change them all over to like goatsy or something like that <laughs> so the next time they log in boom some dude's torn open anus is <laughs> there yeah. to, to greet them no yeah no i used to, we used to do that in the university fun, you could you used really to do what do your the anus in university yeah <laughs> It changed their 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 homepage in their browser when they're uh, like you know in 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 the shower or something, and you just like do it, and then. <laughs> Tarkov is a super great game to play when you don't want to have any fun at all. <laughs> it, Bruce Bruce Cooper just said that. I think that's in, true. In my chat, can I tell you that I uh, when I bought pants, I think I went to a place that was too cool for me. Oh really? And it, it, or what, maybe Eddie I Bauer. Was, it was not Eddie Bauer. Roots Canada. It, it was not. I, I do wear a lot of Roots stuff, but it was not Roots. But okay, so uh, I'm not gonna name the place because I, 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 the pants seem. Nice. Harry Rosen. It was not Harry Rosen. I'm not that old. I'm thinking um, about progressing to Harry Rosen in a few years, though, for sure. There's no champ doubt about that. sports. Okay, listen, all this stuff is not relevant. But first right. off, I walked in. <clears throat> and I, I bought jeans before in my life, right? <clears throat> so I walked in, yeah. and uh, the clerk said, have you ever shopped with us before? Uh, which is kind of a first question. I don't really know the answer. <clears throat> and I said no. And then they gave me like a like a five-minute rundown of, they were like, the mission statement here, we're a local business. We're all about sustainability. We're about wellness. And honestly, just like a theme of movement in everything we do. So right. we don't really, like the pants are pretty gender neutral in the cut, but the ones with the you black mean, tags you know are more masculine and the ones with the white tags are more feminine. Oh, we make uh, like three different cuts. I'm dead, by the way. Yeah, I died as well <laughs> immediately. Sorry. You know what you should have said to him as soon as he said that? You should have said, you're going to notice a, uh, a, uh, a trend of movement uh, that involves me leaving your store in a second if you don't would, shut the <laughs> flip up. Listen, I don't have that I'm kind of I'm just trying to do confidence. some shopping here. We should leave, by yeah. the way, like that. We just got rolled. Oh, we're so all, oh, dang. But then, uh, so they were like, um, hey, so we make three different styles. There's a, a slim fit, a relaxed fit, and an athletic <clears throat> fit. So we suggest that you maybe try on one of each and then see how you like them, and then you can come back and get some styles. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And then, um, so I like, I picked out one of each, and I, I was looking around to try to figure out like where I can go to a change room, and there was just a dude on his phone hanging out right next to the change room. And I was standing there, and after like a minute of no action, I was like, do you work here? And he said, oh yeah. And I said, I want to try these on. He just pointed to one of the changing rooms and was like, he didn't even say like, go in there. He's like, like I'm the idiot. He was like, yeah. the changing rooms are right there, dumbass. And then while I was in the changing room, I could hear his manager going like, yo, bro, what are you doing on your phone? Like, introduce yourself to the customer. And he's like, he just wanted Did to- Did he actually call him bro at work? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was, but then it was like, the pants are pretty sweet though. Man, I feel like Homer Simpson's dad sometimes when I hear stories like that, you know? Like, I feel like the world has changed too much for me, you know? God, like, I'm just going to Target next time. I, like I mean, I, I was a teenager in the bucks. 90s, and I would never go to a store and somebody would call another person bro at the store. Like, uh, oh, that's that's where you draw the line? <laughs> is this the use of bro? Yeah, I've got some, I got issues with that for sure. It like, does I, feel weird to me too, honestly. He kissed a 16-year-old on stage at a concert once who Drake did? I hope it's not Getty Lee, man. I've got the, I've been listening to this shit nonstop for like 30 years. Yeah, I don't, I can't, I honestly wouldn't, if, um, if somebody played me a track by Drake, I would not even know it was him. You would not, because it, it starts like a... Is it more like r and <laughs> or is it like, is he like an actual, like, like MC, like, is he, you know... He's, he sings... Like Jizza Liquid Swords, or... It's or more, no, it's not, he, he has like a sing-songy sort of rap voice, and then a lot of, like, reading his, uh, like, emails. <clears throat> Poetry. Waking up in the morning, Cause... six on red emails. Hoping one's from you. Nah, it's the government. <laughs> it's like, Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> With your like... witch. <laughs> the wicked witch. But the witch is my, my email. Homie, yeah, <laughs> but the witch is my album. Home. <laughs> oh, man. Sips, you enjoying this? What is lost. Yeah, do oh, you like shit, the ready sorry, up yeah. flavor of <laughs> chips? Yeah, I heard they use special again. spectators. Yeah, no, I uh, <laughs> I did not leave. I didn't realize that we lost.
I'm just on. I'm uh, on a different planet today. Sorry. It's good. okay. It's Monday. Yeah, it's true. Got it a did, real it, I, I again, I don't know if it's an age thing or, you know, like the weekend you get a lot of baby time. So it's like my brain is fully sapped on Mondays. But like, it takes me like a day to get going. You know, like in university Man, I, when you would like. Um, you know, you'd have like a, a bit of a rager on the on Saturday, and then on Sunday at like eleven forty-five, you'd go to brunch. That's yeah. what my brain feels like. Like every uh, Monday morning, is like, what the fuck happened this weekend? <laughs> oh yeah, I used a, a plastic stethoscope to give a checkup to sixty-four <laughs> little plastic dinosaurs, <laughs> and then passed yeah, them to my daughter right. and said like oh he needs some medicine he needs a shot this one needs a bandage <laughs> like <yeah. laughs> the, the baby is just at the point now where she's not talking yet but she understands everything that you say it, it's amazing right like when they yeah say dude that. it's so helpful like it, teach yeah. your calculus then because you can tell her to like go pick things up and stuff like you know if, if if her bib is on the floor you can be like go pick up your bib she'll just go pick yeah, it up do it if her diaper is full you could be like can you go yeah, see mommy go real change quick your diaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, drive me to the hospital <laughs> just like it warms up the car did your, parents, like did your parents ever have uh, tupperware parties when no. you were young it's like an mlm so, thing right like where they try to sell tupperware yeah and uh, Avon as well, like the yeah, media the Avon. We did have an Avon. 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 We did yeah. have an Avon lady in our neighborhood. Yeah. We should do that with a product. Yeah. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got uh, I've got seventy five hundred three Stooges the crack NFTs. Uh, if anybody's <laughs> interested in hawking some of these for me. Oh. Each one of the 7,000 is, is in many ways one of a kind. Does anyone want to do a 15-minute Zoom call with Moe's niece? <laughs> <laughs> Start the bidding at, at $5,000. $5, he, he is great niece, right? Like I don't even... Yeah, it's true. Two Stooges came out in like 1920 or something. Like, it's so old. Back in the day, can you imagine going to see the Three Stooges in like a movie theater and seeing people fucking like howl with laughter and roll yeah. in the aisles and shit when he go he, he hits them on the top of the head and his tongue <laughs> pops out or something like that? Boy, oy, 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 oy. <laughs> like I, yeah. I kid you not, Betty. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. No, not funny. It'd be like um. Like that happening would be like in uh, Endgame or whatever, where uh, Captain America picks up the hammer and you just get this surge. Dude, of just like <laughs> the theater like, reaction. Oh my God. Dude, can you yeah. imagine? I, someone should edit my theater reaction when Curly blocked Moe's eye poke. Oh, that would be a great video, man. <laughs> Did you watch that whole Mike Myers um, show that was on Netflix? Or I Prime saw the or first whatever? couple. Oh, you mean the Pentaverit? Yeah. Oh, I you gave I up on it, Malf. I thought you. I thought you said it was pretty good. I didn't say it was pretty good. No, it's, oh. it's absolutely Ryan Ryan horrible. said I had to watch it. You do but... have to watch it. I mean, it's it's god awful. Did you finish the whole thing? Ryan? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Ask me anything mm. about the Pentaverit. Um, was it good? No. <laughs> was, good first uh, question. When you got to the end of it, did you think, how do I get this time back? No, but I was, I, I was more sad than anything else. I was like, Mike Myers has legit, like, if he had the comedic touch, he's lost it. It's always sad when that happens. Eh? Well, it's just comedian. It's like a, it, the comedians are like MySpace or Blackberry. They're just like, they find their formula and then they never change you think dave Chappelle has gone that way a little bit as well yeah you would you say do you say that he's a, as funny as he used to be or not at all not even nearly as I, the last thing uh, stand up he did i thought was like not only not funny but just like kind of bad it's like you know remember when every streamer was tweeting about their ad incentive model offer from twitch and like twitter for a whole weekend was just like look at twitch wants me to run 12 minutes of ads and I was yeah. like, and in my opinion was, is this why people follow these streamers? It's not because they're funny or entertaining. They want their takes on like the advertising 
uh, model of content creation or something. That's how I feel about like every Dave Chappelle special in like the last um, like six years is like I missed when he was funny and when he didn't spend like a, an increasing length of time in every single special talking about like how not mad he is about getting dragged on social media over and over. Well, that's yeah. like the last one I saw. I don't know if it was the most recent one, but it, like half of it was just like <clears throat> him being like, I'm not a transphobe. Yeah. yeah, like, and I was like, like, I mean, it's just like it's not comedy. Yeah, like, yeah. When I watch it, I'm like, I think, I think he's still funny. Like sometimes I'm like, he's still got it. But then there's always like a turn, a third to halfway through the special where he's like, now yeah. I'm gonna like talk about some shit that annoys me, and I'm like, please don't. <laughs> just some, of the, some of the some uh, of the the more recent uh, Cosby jokes were pretty funny. I remember from the specials. Well, I laughed at them anyway. I don't know if that's bad taste or whatever, but um, but yeah, I agree. Like I like the the whole I, I'm not a transphobic thing was like, kind of hard to watch, right? Like it was just yeah, not 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 funny or even Ooh, oh shit, suck on my dick. We won. Let's go. <laughs> did you get it? I did. He My turned around, he God. looked at me, and then he just jumped. <laughs> you know who was up there just about to get it, too? I do, like, I do. It was the Walter White hat guy was there. He was he was getting ready to, to snipe it. My what tiny Walter Whitey. Okay. All right, you want to do one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, it the back-to-back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah back-to-back. Right. Back -back. Oh, ho, ho. But I think the same thing about like, um, well, like honest, I, I hate to say it because like I, these are some of my favorite like comedians from the like when the mid two thousand or when I it was the mid I don't know why I'm being so weird about it in the mid two thousand some of my favorite comedians they're getting like their Netflix prestige specials now and I'm like almost every single one of them is ass like the new There's, Patton Oswalt yeah. special like just made me want to cry it was so embarrassingly bad and then like a few years ago like. Well, it must have been like 10 years ago that like um, David Cross came out with an album and I was like, this is pure ass. And then he had like another special like four years ago and I was like, this is even more ass. Yeah, that one was bad. Yeah. I mean, like I love Norm Macdonald and stuff as well, but like I did you see like that, uh, that like the last thing that he ever recorded? Like, yeah, yeah. It was that it was like two hours long where he just like didn't even stop to take a breath or anything it was just like all off the top of his head which is like impressive or whatever but i don't know like i love norm mcdonald but like i don't think i laughed once during that whole thing like it just wasn't like mm. very funny you know like i don't know like maybe it was yeah but yeah. it was just not like like also norm mcdonald has had me in hysterics before like like actually crying and everything like mm -hmm. delivery timing everything but like for me that 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 wasn't it but like i mean I don't know. It's it, it's weird, isn't it? I, I feel like uh, it's harder to stay uh, to stay funny like as you get like much older, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. Well, There's a special category of comedians too that get older and then they have kids and then that's all they do is they make fun of how like smelly their teenage you have a, you have a problem is. is this like uh that's I'm, a, I'm in the call that's right thing, here yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're talking to uh that's all that's people. all their content is like i'm a, I'm a father now dude i already got roasted on that <laughs> on the weekend it, every time on my shorts all the time <laughs> <laughs> i don't ready up but on the weekend <laughs> I don't so like i barely pay attention to what's going on around me uh, <laughs> friday Friday's stream ended, and uh, I went to my subreddit to see, you know, all the breathless praise and reviews. Um, we might want to run one more. Um, <laughs> How did we not? No. Because, uh, you know, it's always nice to see I was like this, front of the, pack the stuff people are saying about it. And there was a thread that was like, hey, just found this old video on my phone. Check out this hilarious joke NL made in 2016. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Because this is how this I, shit always goes. Like one person is like, here's a funny bit from the past. And then like the same eight people are like, hey, it'll never be this good ever again. I haven't watched NL in eight years, but my perception of this is that it, everything was always better in 2016. And then um, I, one guy was like, uh, every stream now is just him talking about his kid, which I understand, but at the same time, that's annoying. And then I went into like his post history because I'm an insane person. And then he was complaining on like another subreddit about like... Um, 
he keeps trying to like make friends with people, but he can't figure out. He always annoys them accidentally. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reply to this person because obviously they're aware of what their issue is. And now I feel bad, quite frankly, because now originally I was gonna fucking light him up. I was gonna say, "Fuck you, you piece of shit, you fucking get, get back here. You're not an intellectual." Then I was like, "Actually, you're cursed with knowledge, motherfucker." So join the damn club. Just keep your mouth shut. You oh, fucking. he's like Red Skull. Hmm. Like uh, you know, he's he's cursed to to guide people to the uh, soul stone that he can never he possess. Can possess. Yes. Yeah. Who, and, who uh, does that? What's his name? Ships, you Red wouldn't Skull? understand. It's Kino Cinema. Oh. It's from man. Marvel Avengers Infinity War. Oh, I saw one of those, I think. Infinity War? <laughs> uh... You would know, dude. You would okay, know. Okay, what's Hulkbuster? What's the what's the point? Is it like an add-on for Iron Man to be able to fight the Hulk? Yes. In the yeah, in in Age of Ultron, Hulk was still at the point Hulk where he was like uh, reckless. Like he lost control yeah. of himself sometimes when he oh, got too angry. Yeah. So Iron Man had to make the Hulkbuster armor to keep him in line. Yeah. What? Just to just to like just to like smack him around a little bit. Just well, to try to 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 protect people because like well the Hulk, you know, sometimes he he destroys buildings and stuff. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, he's like a yeah. pretty. I mean, Sips, you know, he's a six mana, twelve power unit. Like, he's pretty strong. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, I know. Like, he's he's kind of unstoppable. When somebody slams him down, you're like, oh my god. And then the it's board it's it's funny in the 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 later movie. Then it's the Hulk who can't get it up is in the Hulkbuster. That's true. Oh, that is true. What he can't rage out like he used yeah, to. Yeah, he, he's yeah. having he's, he's lost going his through mojo. like an identity crisis, and like the Hulk doesn't want to come out to play. Oh. I was very proud of my tweet. Um, how does your butt not get infected with all that dookie moving through it? Apparently, like, you would get, like, you know, it would get, like, you know, like, you would get, like, so much dookies moving through it that you would get infected. But your body knows that it's going to get infected, so it puts, like, a bunch of, like, lymph nodes there. But it really begs the fucking question that if they could get all like the lymph nodes there to keep you from getting infected, why don't they put some extra fucking lymph nodes like in your your nose and your throat? Evolution kind of dropped the ball on that one, huh? They do? Well, obviously they need to put some fucking more there. Have you turned on the news in the last two years? Who's they? You know, like the Council of Evolution. One more dumbass question. We're going to revoke your biology degree. Oh, no, don't take away my worthless degree. Don't take away the piece of paper that represents a knowledge of fucking nothing. A, a bare chest of drawers featuring no clothing inside of it. A billy bookcase with no literature in it, just manga. Hey, sorry, sorry, too close. To... <laughs> yeah, I'm into reading. Reading books where uh, big robots fight other big robots with lots of pictures in them. Yeah, I've read, um, I've read 435 books this year. According to the legal definition, the strictest possible definition of what a book is, this is a personal attack. Yeah, I'm into reading, reading this whole pizza in my mouth in Ketchikan, Alaska. Oh, anyway. Is this an ASMR stream? No, that's only when I go, speaking outrageously, I write in cursive, I hide in the veil with my head on the floor. Wearing three layers of coats and leg warmers, I see my own breath in the face on the door. Oh, he is not quite pogging. Oh, I am not quite sleeping. Oh, I am fast in bed. There on the wall of the bedroom, creeping, I see a wasp with his wings outstretched. Anyway, sorry. My comfort singer! <laughs> As the number one Sufjan Stevens fan with misophonia, I thought that bit that NL did today in between the ad break and when he figured out what the fuck he was going to play second was in really, really bad taste. Okay, two people in a row said tiny rogues. Okay, what the hell is... If two people in a row said it, it can't be wrong. It's a challenging... Okay, any other suggestions? 
<laughs> Pardon me. Let me look up these reviews. Let me look at them for a second. Triple A Dev. Here's a six. Uh, here we go. Uh, credit an indie game without talking shit about like Star Wars Battlefront 2 or something like that. No one writes any reviews anymore. They're all written in like green text. Here's a $60 bog standard open world. Everyone won't stop talking about the graphics that'll make your head explode. Me, I sleep. Random indie dev. Want to check out this retro style roguelite with references to a ton of fun series for just $6? Me, hot damn. Okay. Is it good? I know that it's 10% of the price of a AAA game. That's all I know about it. Tiny Rogues is probably best described as a mix of Hades, Gungeon, with smatterings from the Souls series. Oh, like, come on. <laughs> no, <I> just... <laughs> that can't be true. Hades, Gungeon, and smatterings from the Souls games? What are these reviews, man? Game is fun and does a lot with a little. The animations are very basic but pleasing. Stuff seems to be animated via code or maybe Juice FX. What the hell does it even mean and why do I care? It's okay, the game is animated via Juice FX? It's addicting. It good. Okay, I mean, at least these reviews tell me something. I'll give it a try. I mean, why not? I don't get coffee out anymore though, because here's the thing. I need to drink coffee like as soon as I wake up, but I don't want to drink another coffee throughout the rest of the day. Here's my, it, oh, are you spending too much money on Starbucks? Here's my advice to you. Hey, by the way, thank you, Cetra, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a little life hack. If you need to, uh, if, if you need to cut your Starbucks spending, get so physiologically dependent on caffeine that you need to put coffee into your body within 10 minutes of waking up so you don't vomit. Uh, but limit yourself to one coffee a day because you're old, and if you drink caffeine after noon, you won't be able to fall asleep by 11. Thus, as soon as I wake up, I'm like, God, looking for the fridge, looking for the fridge. <gasps> like, uh, uh, glug, 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 glug. Okay, I'm good. And then, you know what? I've, I mean, in the last year, I bet I've spent less than $30 on Starbucks coffee. Me looking like the weekend during the Super Bowl. So true. Bro, I don't even want to talk about McDonald's. I, McDonald's had one dub and one L this weekend. On Saturday, my wife said, what do you want for lunch? I said, I don't know. Anything's good. She said, how about McDonald's? I said, I'll go pick it up, okay? And then in the car, I was fist pumping. Yes! Yes! <clears throat> and then, um, holy cow, you hear that? Um, get to the McDonald's. Go to the kiosk. Give me a 10-piece chicken nugget, one barbecue, one sweet and sour. Uh, with a medium Coke Zero, okay? Give me one McDonald's four-piece Happy Meal Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous toy, please. That was the dub. My kid loves dinosaurs. To get the dinosaur toy was a dream come true. She got a, a puzzle that when it was assembled was a baby ankylosaurus. Extremely cute. It was a great activity. Here's the L. Give me a six-piece Chicken McNugget, one sweet and sour, add on an extra sauce, hot mustard for my wife. Um, what does she want to drink? She wants orange juice, okay? I'm not going to go to McDonald's, get her a small orange juice. This shit is like 30 milliliters. So I said, you know what? She's worth it. I upsold to a medium. Thank you. Here's my food. Drive away, looking over in the damn drink tray. Fucking, they gave, they gave me a small apple juice with a Happy Meal and an orange juice of exactly the same size. How am I going to explain this shit to my family, dude? They gave, me a, they gave me a small OJ. Should have gotten the Sprite. You're right. I mean, they nailed the Coke Zero. Can you just go? This is an honest question. Like, Vancouver has some fucked up McDonald's's. You think you could just go in there and get free food if you just had a receipt for anything in your pocket? Like, I think if you went up to the counter and just said, hey, I ordered two, chick I ordered two McChickens, but you guys only gave me one, I feel like within 30 seconds, you would have another sandwich in your hands, no question asked. You could have a receipt for, like, some de-icer that you bought at Canadian Tire or something. Just pick a bag and go. Bro, I get so annoyed when I'm waiting for my food at the McDonald's counter. And, like, people go, like, you've been standing there for, like, three minutes. 
waiting for your food and then like somebody orders something and then immediately moves straight to the counter instead of giving people a wide berth. Some like 64 year old man orders a filet of fish with extra tartar sauce and then immediately is like, is for me? I just, I know, I see that there's 12 people waiting for their food and the shit comes out like almost in order of when it was ordered over and over, but I'm just gonna sidle up to the front here. And then after like two people's food comes out and neither of it is mine, I'm just gonna gum up the gears a little bit by going, um, hey, is mine still coming? Hey, hey, person uh, serving 12 orders a minute. Can you just take a look at me real quick? Can you give me a status update on my filet of fish sandwich? MFs be silent. So true. On public freakout, some drunk trucker went behind the counter and grabbed nuggets right out of the warming station. They have self-serve McDonald's now? They should make, dude, if they made a McDonald's buffet, that shit would go hard. Holy cow. That would be, just, just make one in Chicago or something like that. It should be fine. McDonald's might be the most dangerous place you go to. I mean, I would say, yeah, like Vancouver McDonald's is, they're not all scary, but like some of them are a little scary for sure. Like there's a few McDonald's that just, they, every time you're in there, it's like, it feels like you're simmering. Like the, the whole thing is just waiting to boil over. Feels like the damn bug. Give me shelter concert from the Rolling Stones. That night the Hells Angels had their way. Tonight, we have ours. When the truth is found to be lies. You know what I mean? Yeah, Granville Burger King, also very scary. That's not a, that's not a pleasant place if you're just like, hey, I'm first time in Vancouver. I think I'll just get a crust sandwich real quick. And then you're like, if you walk into that Burger King, you're going to be like, well, you know, Hopefully the worst thing is that it just smells like piss. It's not the Burger King slander. I don't know like if it's an international thing, but in Canada and the United States, at least in cities, the Burger King is like head office forgets that they exist and they just let it go like derelict. It's like a lawless fucking wasteland inside of the Burger King. I get like if you go to the like suburbs, there's like a standalone Burger King with like a parking lot. You go in and it's like families are after the soccer game. They're like, let's go get a Whopper real quick. In the city, it's a fucking, it's the Warriors, man. Like people are getting into fights and throwing up. Like half the tables have somebody asleep on top of them. And like Burger, they just got the poor Burger King workers just trying to keep the damn, the, the system going. Serving charbroiled, quote unquote, flame grilled whoppers 24 7. That shit, honestly, if you have a Burger King that is in like a city center, that shit should close at like 2 p.m. You cannot keep it open past like sundown. It's just, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. Target frame rate 30. Excuse me, can we maybe get, would I, at least double it? Those are rookie numbers. Shut up, you fucks. Wait, who's the guy out there that's like, I only watch shit with V-Sync on? Get it, like, play the damn game. Who cares about the damn, the options menu? It's like, as soon as I turn on a game, people are like, Bro, the bloom! Dude, what's the gamma in this thing? What's the gamma, 80? No, you gotta take that shit down to 53, dude. He doesn't even play with shroud settings. Dude, the bloom, the, the aim punch, and the footsteps are so bad. It sounded like a sneaker scuffing along dirty wood, and actually they were stepping on shag carpet in a clog. Like, when are they gonna... And the aim punch, dude, is like, okay, peeker's advantage. Anyway. <clears throat> Hello to all the gamers. We're playing Tiny Rogues. Tiny Rogues is, um... I don't know anything about this, except that the reviews are good. It came out about a month ago, and I was told that you should not judge a book by its cover. I was also told to turn camera shake off so you don't throw up. That sounds great. Um, two people in a row told me to play this, so we're gonna give it a try. I, I have heard on good authority, it is Hades meets Enter the Gungeon with a smattering of Dark Souls elements. So, okay, I will play as the hero. He's a hot-blooded young hero on a quest of anguish humanity's biggest adversary. Can they defeat death? He grants a red dice anytime you enter a new floor. I know what to do with that. Start with a random weapon from the tutorial after completing it. Okay. And then there's blessings that we don't have access to. Okay, fair enough. My new favorite... I'm sorry, I'm brainstorming YouTube thumbnails. Best game of 2022? Best in television game of the 21st century? Wouldn't... Whoa, we're leveling! I am spinning! 
Choose a perk. Well, it's got vampire survivors. Gungeon meets Hades meets The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time meets A Link to the Past meets Tennis for Two meets Vampire Survivors. Have you ever played the original Rogue? Can I tell you, I, I have not, and there's a couple of reasons for it. One is that the shit is, um, the graphics are made of the characters on my keyboard. Um, and another one is that, w with all due respect and with all disrespect, I found that I never wanted to play Rogue, because people that love Rogue were so anal about um, the use of the word roguelite, that it just seemed like, if the game is so much fun, why aren't you playing it instead of wasting your time arguing with 16-year-olds online? So that's probably not like a fair criticism, but um, that is that is one reason. I would say it's not a reason I didn't play it, but it presented another barrier that was like, do I really want these people to, do I want to join their tribe? And I said, no. I said, uh, that honestly seems like, um, I mean, I've, I struggle enough with being annoying as is, so I don't need any help in that department. You're actually like a nobody. Okay, you're actually like, I'm just gonna take a health potion real quick. I didn't know I could do that on the fly. I'm proud of myself. Guess what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna drop a bomb on top of you. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Nice try. I'm dead. <laughs> I get killed instantly. <laughs> I don't know. I did see the exclamation mark, but I, I think that was a scripted death anyway. Wait, these animations are made with Juice FX? Did you read the review as well? My reaction when the animations are made with code or Juice FX. So true, me giving a thumbs up on Steam in my Bill's Curator group. It does feel a little bit like, I don't know what, it's just conjuring like an image in my head right now of like a little kid in like a basement. He doesn't have a sword most of the time though. He just has like um like a little um just has like a little um like he's he's crying maybe I think is I don't know I would love to know people's thoughts on this. You know what I like about it though? Two choices instead of four after the average room. That feels nice. I always thought like in Isaac it's just like I can never figure out which way to go. In this it's just like, you know, don't worry about it so much. Can I tell you, I think I'm going for the pair a lot because um, it's so good in Super Auto Pets. It's going to be hard to unlearn. I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't seem to be the hardest boss in video game history right here. Ah! <laughs> Never mind. Don't, no, not, not right after I said it, please. Never mind, I'm okay. Yes, I'm going to feed you to my children. Ah, what the hell? I won the fight, though! There's a phase two? That was so fast. I'll take some decks. You know what? I'll, I'll take even more decks. You don't even need, like, good equipment if your stats are good. That's why boxing exists. You don't need stats if you're good. You tell that to um, Anderson Silva. I don't know. Who won? Anderson Silva or Jake Paul? I did see Logan Paul hit a, a disgusting wrestling move this weekend. You decide. No, don't epic rap battles of history me. Jake Paul won. Dude, he's like undefeated. He must be the- Oh, he must be the greatest boxer of all time, right? Dude, honestly, I- I should just start doing private games of Rumbleverse and then like Jake Pauling it. What does it mean to Jake Paul it? It means you choose your own opponent every time. So I could just play private games of Rumbleverse and then choose opponents who I know are worse than me and then just go freaking sicko mode every single time. Yeah, just invite a bunch of like 60 year olds. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the ticket. What do you think plus one intelligence would represent IRL? Is that like finishing a college class or is that like getting a two year degree? It's one minute on Reddit. So true. That's why I have an intelligence level of five right now. This is, it sounds fucked up to say. I bet Junji Ito is a huge fan of that new Netflix show Blockbuster about um, it, like a sitcom about running the last, the last Blockbuster. Because anytime you read an interview with someone who makes movies that fucking suck, their taste is always incredible and they're into like some fucked up stuff. Like they could, you know, Zack Snyder before giving interviews uh, for 
whatever that Las Vegas zombie movie you made, he's always like, oh yeah, this is like, um, it's inspired by Goya and Botticelli's Cherubesque Angels and the Sistine Chapel. Then every interview with Junji Ito is like, I watched four seasons of The Office while I wrote the most horrifying stuff you've ever seen in your entire life. I'm, I'm, I've am i reversed trend once more. I do hope that this is the last year we do it. I hope we go to permanent uh, daylight savings, which would mean at some point we spring forward and never fall back. I got to admit, when I woke up on Sunday and it had an extra hour of sleep, I felt fucking good, dude. I felt, I felt real nice yesterday morning. Now, I don't know if that's worth all the other BS that comes along with it, but like, it might be close. <laughs> But then, spring forward is fucking horrible. Then it, the, the chickens come home to roost, for sure. I mean, this is like, you're nobody, honestly. Yeah, we should just keep falling back. Can't we just have, in October can't, or November, can't we fall back an hour? And then in spring, can't we just fall back like 25 hours or something like that? Just like erase one day off the calendar? Or spring forward 23 hours instead, something like that? Surely we could spring forward 23 hours. We'd have to stop eventually. Maybe like once every 20 years you could just have, you have like one month where you lose an hour of sleep every day. That wouldn't be so bad. Why didn't you talk to anyone else? I got what I need. Lightning boots. When you dash, a nearby enemy is struck by lightning. That seems pretty good. I need some Stam. That didn't go so... You didn't equip it? It auto-equips. Everyone's saying lol. He didn't put them on. Dash of Bitters. Darkio4719. Carl Noob. Natex Gloves. Look at that. Look at that. How do you like it? My bad? Yeah, that's fucking right. You're bad. Apology not accepted, kind of. Hold on. I need a health potion. Souls? We need a random ranged weapon, man. Just in case. I have your scent. Run. Whoa. It's pretty spooky. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna do my best. Just gonna do my best. Three dashes. You see that crit? Whoa! Two quick ones. Two quick ones. So tiny and so small, yet so quick. Little rogue, the hunt has just begun. <laughs> I just stood still. <laughs> I didn't know where to go. And sorry, right. I feel like we learned. We learned something about that one. I mean, we're gonna get- look at all the stuff we could unlock. Look at all the menus that are gonna give me option paralysis right now. I did- so, somebody in the Magic the Gathering community tweeted, like, an edited clip. I don't know if it was from the Library of Letourneau, but it might have been. That was every time I've told- like, I've talked shit about Magic. And they were not at all mad. They were like, the, everything that he says in this is true and it's so funny. Some people added me in it. They were like, oh my god, a crossover between this person and this person. I, th this is like worlds colliding. But then, Cobalt, I don't know if you're here in chat, Cobalt was kind of getting, he was going off a little bit that I was insulting magic. He was trying to, I mean, I, I'm not going to say that he took offense, but I think he might have thought it was not a... Uh, was not necessarily a fair apples to apples comparison about magic versus other hobbies. Any magic drafting anecdotes? No, I haven't played in, in 10 years. But I will say I did watch Cobalt open the packs that he got for free for the 30th anniversary edition. And uh, I, was, I was so ready for him to get uh, a Black Lotus. Instead, he got like a dingus egg. And I was like, what the? They did him dirty. You know what? I would agree. This game does seem pretty good. I get it. I'm not like other gamers. I get it. Everybody else playing God of War Ragnarok whenever it comes out. I'm gonna guess that that's tomorrow. Me? You can catch me playing some tiny rogues and getting mad at creative writing exercises on Reddit. 
It's not coming out on Tuesday, it's coming out on Wednesday. What, the oh, God of War is such a big release, they can issue the normal Tuesday release date? Like, you think you're, you're, you're bigger than John Lennon, who's bigger than Jesus Christ? You gonna play God of War Ragnarok? No, but I was thinking that, you know what we could do? Because I still have the Lion Kratos emote. We could, um... Just, like, tell people when they show up, like, hey, no, we're not playing God of War Ragnarok. However, you could subscribe with Twitch Prime real quick, get Lion Kratos, and then go watch someone else play it, and you could spam my emote in their chat. And then they'd be like, whoa, what's that Kratos emote? And then people will, like, mouse over top of it, and then they'll go, I gotta go get one of those for myself. I think this could be a big month for subscriptions just because of God of War. Not because I'm playing it myself, but we do have that Kratos emote. Could be, could be the most successful month of my life from a from a Twitch Prime subscription standpoint. I can't. Remember. So needless, so needless to get hit there. Is this emote legal? I think it's like one of those things where it's like, be cool. Like any, it's like legal if you don't get caught. You know what I mean? It's not illegal. Like, like the cops aren't going. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. The cops aren't, like, going to look for people that have, like, a Kratos emote. If it was brought to their attention, would they be forced to be, like, to, would they... Like, I'm just trying to say, like, don't blow this up for me. Like, this could be a really big month. I'm probably one of the biggest God of War fans on Earth. One of the, one of the biggest, without a doubt. I know all the characters. There's Kratos. There's Loki. There's the big snake. Bro, I kind of... I, I, I think I've become, and I know that I'm like a, a, a pro, oh, and this is not even true. People have accused me of being pro car, which is not true. I own a car, I love a car, I, I have, I, I make love to my car, I have posters of my car up in my garage where I work on my car, but I wouldn't say I'm like a car guy. I just, you know, I, I have a vehicle, I try to drive it safely, I occasionally get annoyed by what I consider to be unsafe passage whether that's a cyclist, a driver, or a pedestrian, okay? But I was kind of losing it. I was on r slash Vancouver, and people were talking about, like, how annoying Vancouver pedestrians are. And there was, like, the top post was like, hey, and be careful. Hey, Vancouverites, just so you know, if you're wearing your brand new black Arcteryx jacket, dark Lululemon pants, and brown Blundstones, and I was like, oh, fuck, it's me. Um, Drivers might not be able to see you that well, so you might want to get like a reflector or something like that and put it on like your coat so people... And I was like almost about to get an argument on a local subreddit. Hey Vancouver drivers, just so you know, like a lot of your shitty fucking cars don't have uh, automatic lights on them. So when you get in your car, you got to look at this little circle and turn it two times so your fucking headlights are on when you're driving at night, you fucking asshole, you fucking idiot. As long as we're, we're talking about shit that happens all the damn time. How about, uh, maybe you didn't see the pedestrian because you didn't have your headlights on and, it, and the sun goes down at 4.30. But then again, I was also like, when I was driving home from daycare on Thursday. And I had a great day, thank you for asking. We did lots of coloring. We went to the library. Anyway. Um, we, um, or I, I was driving and there was like, some cyclists. I've, I've really become a much better driver since I've realized that like, being patient is like the the cure to being mad when driving so like there were two cyclists and they were they were riding abreast in the cycling lane which meant that one of them was in the cycling lane and then one of them was on the road so i rather than be like oh i'm gonna try to like wait till it's safe to get by and then put myself like almost in the opposing lane of traffic and then give i was just like you know what guess i'm driving a cycling speed right now and then a horrible thought occurred to me which is i don't I never wanted to hit a cyclist with my car, okay? A lot of people have gaslit me to say that. However, I really can't hit a cyclist with my car now because I've talked so much shit about cyclists not obeying the rules of the road. So if anything, you should be stoked that I keep talking about getting annoyed by cyclists not stopping at four-way stops. Especially when there's all the other stops are getting filled up, right? Because it just causes confusion for everybody. Because it means that I'm now so much more self-conscious of driving when there's a cyclist on the road. Because I know that I would be on like fucking court TV or something like that. And I'd be like, I didn't hit them with my car on purpose. And then they'd be, oh really? Explain these like 100 audio clips from your work of you saying like, Every cyclist should get hit by my car. Now I never said that. This is for humorous purposes only. 
Anyway, I mean, I am I'm genuinely like a safe driver. Although I think I had a little road rage incident uh, on Sunday. I was driving, you know, it's busy street. Okay, let me let me set the stage for you after I finish this room. Busy street, two lanes, both lanes packed, both lanes moving to the speed limit, like 55 kilometers an hour, something like that. I'm approaching a side street, okay? Sorry, I'm, I'm mirrored here. I'm approaching like an intersection that's over on the right side. So I'm driving up to it. The car in front of me turns right at speed. So for a brief moment, the car that is trying to turn right to get into my lane loses the ability to see what's in the lane that he's turning into. Now me, because I'm not a, a fucking idiot moron who has a death wish, if that was me in that position, I simply would wait until I could see again and then make sure it was safe in order to proceed. This guy, who apparently had a death wish um, or doesn't have his driver's license yet or whatever, um, was like, oh, I can't see what's coming. I guess I'll just merge into the lane and almost T-boned our car. At which point I just, I mean, I was still driving, but I went, yeah, 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 why don't we just hit each other today? Why don't we just hit each other today? But I got over it pretty fast. That's my, my usual road rage. Oh, are we, is there a new style of driving where we crash into each other? And then I was just like, ah, who cares? You know, he's old. Get on. <laughs> When are you doing stuff with Atreon? I think we're gonna do this week, as long as I don't come down with one of my, like, um, trademark, uh, hey, on Monday I'm fine, Tuesday I got a runny nose, Wednesday I sound like, uh, the devil. Thursday, tell people I feel better than I sound. Friday, sound perfect. Come back on Monday and be like, sorry, somehow I didn't kick the illness over the weekend. Like, it's... Anyway, long story short, it's it's planned for this week. You know, it's funny. My my wife. Um, don't know why I said that with the cadence of a Christopher Walken, a, a what kind, what Kenzian diction. Um, she said, "Hey, did you see the the viral tweet of the guy who got the T1 World Champs 2022 tattooed on his uh, leg, and then they lost in the worlds?" And I was like. Well, funny you should mention that. That's, um, I'm supposed to be doing a, a stream segment with him this very week. You forgot the weapon. <laughs> I definitely did. Dun -cut, dun -cut. They should put that, they should put that shit at more front and center, man. It's not my fault. I'm old. I have a kid. I'm a little bit hungry. Dude, I was at the grocery store, right? And I'm still, I'm, I'm kind of, this is ancillary. I'm kind of, um, I'm bringing it up again though, because it's living in my head. When I, when he, the grocery clerk handed me my receipt, I had my Bluetooth headphones in, right? I still don't know whether he said, have a nice day, man, or have a nice day, Ryan. And it's still, in my head, I was like, it, he might have said, Ryan, I don't know. Because we looked each other like dead in the eyes, too. And it was like, have a nice day. And I'm like, so if that was you, I hope that you had a nice day as well, for the record. But I also, in my head, I was like, if, he, if I thought he said Ryan, and then I said, whoa, do you know me? And he didn't know me, he would be like, what the fuck are you talking about, you crazy person? And I would be like, oh, sorry, I thought maybe you uh, knew me. And I didn't know you. I'm just gonna go find a new grocery store to go to. I'm gonna take the, the life drain scepter. That was me, but I call, oh, what the heck? That was me, but I call everyone Ryan. Don't take it personal. NL, would you ever hit the Benjamin? I assure you, I don't know what that means, so I can't give you an honest answer. You know what, people, and again, this is like a, this is Gen Z slander, so I apologize. People from Gen Z, I just wanna tell you, this is from a place of, of mutual respect. Enjoy being like the cool generation, okay? Because I know that right now you're like, we're the zeitgeist, we're the purveyors of what's cool and what's not cool in culture. Just wait until you see some of the sick shit that people born in like 2009 start to make when they're the meme makers, okay? Get ready. It's around like 2025, it'll probably start to start. All the articles about Gen Z, instead of being like, um, 
hey, Gen Z, young kids, we wish you the best of luck. Can't wait for you guys to solve climate change. Instead, all the articles will be about how, like, you guys can't fucking get it together. And I'm, I'm not saying that because your generation's unique in that way. I'm saying it's the same way it happened to millennials, you know? We were like the saviors, and then now we're not cool. We're just like boomers, but like our generation is poorer on a broader sense, you know? So just get ready, because in 2009, the people that were born in 2009, and the you know, two years into the Obama administration, are going to start to make some uh, memes that are foreign to you, and it's going to be just as confusing to you as like shit like Beanut Putter was to millennials when we saw it for the first time. Now I've come around. I think I've got a little bit of Gen Z SQ on myself, but uh, I'm just telling you to enjoy it while it lasts, okay? Because, like, you're only, on a generational sense, you're really only cool for, like, a very small fraction of your life, hopefully. Not because I'm, I want you to not be cool, but because I want you to, like, stay alive. Sorry, somebody posted a comment about the Subway Italian BMT and it got me stunlocked. I'm not going to get a Subway sandwich for lunch, but I will, you know, eat a sandwich that's not from Subway. Because Subway doesn't even have olive bread yet. How embarrassing. Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I just, the other thing, I know we talk about Subway like way more than is sensible. The other thing that's crazy to me about Subway, I don't know if they advertise like this in the United States, but right now they're running a series of ads on TV that are like, hey, try the new bowls at Subway. And it's just like, I know they tried the same thing like six or seven years ago. But they just dump all the ingredients from a Subway sandwich into a bowl. So it was like a Subway sandwich without bread. And I'm like, stop trying to make this work. Like, there's no, nobody's going to Subway and going like, you know what would make this sandwich better? No bread. Like, the shit inside of the bread is, is horrible to begin with. Chipotle can get away with it. They got like, you know, I don't know if they got the freshest ingredients, but they got the brand like on their side. Papa John's did that too? I can't even fathom how that would work. You'd have like a pepperoni bowl. Poke bowls are popular. Yeah, poke is like fresh vegetables, raw fish, like cool sauces and dressings and stuff like that. Subway is like, they're serving like foot-long bologna sandwiches. Like what, <laughs> what are you going to do? Like it just... I mean, like, I could see going to Subway and getting a salad, which is kind of what this is, but it's not, because it's like a... I don't know if it's a... I don't know what the base is. I don't know why it's not a salad. Now, listen, I know, listen, it's another Gen Z versus Millennial thing. I know it's been ruined because it's, like, dated and it was in all the YouTube memes and stuff like that. My Name of Jeff from 22 Jump Street is a great comedy moment. That's one of the... the, the if, if the American Film Institute did a laugh out loud funniest moments from the 2010s, I'm not saying it would be number one, but it would be on the list for sure. It would probably be in the top 20. It gets me every time. It's, it's really funny. Where would Eminem coming out as gay rank in the interview? I would say like um, in the bottom. Well, not in the bottom, but like that would be one of the top 10 moments from the interview, I would say. Which would mean that it's probably like, I don't know, in the top like 1,000 funniest moments of the 20th. That's just my two cents. You know what? I'm, I'm just Googling, okay? Best comedies of the two 2010s. Let's see a ranker here. Okay, this one, go, shout out to Collider. Deadpool 2016. Listen, it's very easy to make fun of Deadpool. I, I think two Deadpools is like as many as I have to see. But I enjoyed 1 and 2. There were funny moments in Deadpool and Deadpool 2. That's, that's not a bad movie. The, the, the moment where Deadpool has baby legs in Deadpool 2, that could be in the top 50 funniest laugh out loud moments of the 2010s. Easy A. Don't at me. I know I have to see it, okay? So I can't tell you. Inherent Vice. This is, um, this is just placed on the... Uh, list to make the author smart. Inherent Vice might be a good movie. I would, don't know if I'd say it's a funny movie. Maybe Droll. Game Night. Okay, honestly, there's got to be some moments in Game Night that would make the laugh out loud funniest list for sure. It's a very fun movie. Thor Ragnarok. 
You know what my, my favorite moment in Thor Ragnarok? What is it that he says? Uh, uh, I sentence you Thor Ragnarok. What does he say? Chad, can I get this one? What does he say? What does Jeff Goldblum say in that one? He doesn't say it's Ragnarokking time. Life finds a way. Oh, that's, yeah, when he's, when he's sentencing the guy and he's in the, he's strapped into the chair. Please, please, pardon me. All right, I pardon you. I pardon you from life. That's a, that's a great moment. Francis Ha, huh? I haven't seen it. I'm not that much of a Greta Gerwig guy. Hail Caesar, come on, don't insult me. 21 Jump Street, number 13. There you go. And 22 Jump Street's kind of up there too. This is the end, 2013. Listen, I know This is the End is also very bad chestable. I think it's a funny movie, though. I just like, I, listen, I'll just tell you. I like Seth Rogen more than you do, probably. Because like 95% of people online just go, uh, <laughs> I like Seth Rogen. I find him affable and humorous, okay? Spy, I've seen it. I liked it. I don't remember anything about it. The World's End. It's not a bad movie, but suffers from being the worst of the Cornetto trilogy by far, so I choose to pass. The Lego movie, I've not seen it, but I'm sure I will. What We Do in the Shadows. Okay, you know, there would be some genuine laugh-out-loud AFI moments here. I've just been inside doing my dark bidding. What is your dark bidding? Uh, see, right now I'm bidding on a, a chair. I'm bidding on a table. The Nice Guys, I saw on an airplane, liked it, but didn't, I don't remember anything about it. Lady Bird, come on. Paddington 2, okay, all right. The Grand Buddha, okay, I gotta, I gotta see some more movies from the 2010s. Bridesmaids, again, why is it that every comedy, five years after it comes out, is so easy to bat chest? Bridesmaids, is a, a, it's a good movie. I know that the director then made the Ghostbusters, but with ladies, and now he's kind of like... You know, it's like, instead of making a good movie, I could just make a movie that makes mean people not like it, and that's, like, art for me now. Like, that's kind of annoying to me, but but Bridesmaids is funny. Two, Pop Star, Never Stop Stopping. Actually, an incredible movie. I'm not... Would I put it number two? I don't know, but it would be up there. That is That is a great movie. And number one, MacGruber. Okay, this list is insane. <laughs> this list is out of its... Listen, I saw MacGruber in theaters. Like, it's... It's okay. It, it's got more misses than hits. I do think of MacGruber anytime someone cuts me off in traffic and I just repeat their license plate to myself, though. KFBR392, KFBR392. The best comedy movies of 2020. An American Pickle. Are you high? What are you... Who wrote this? All right. I mean, we got nine minutes left. My name of Jeff is funny. That's all I'm saying. Because here's the thing. I wasn't part of like the YouTube community, uh, you know, throw up in the cake batter, bake it, eat it, and then throw up on top of the throw up that you threw up in the cake in the first place. So like I never got like overexposed to the My Name of Jeff stuff. So I know you're probably like My Name of Jeff. What an old reference. I'm more like my, I, I have only seen 22 Jump Street two times. Both times that Channing Tatum goes, My Name of Jeff. I, th I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen committed to film. Okay, if your name is Jeff, I can understand your annoyance. This is food. This will never come to YouTube, by the way. This is like, is stealth content. When Doves Cry is Prince. This, without seeing the picture of Prince, I was like, I know this is not Prince, but my brain was like, this fucking Prince, dude. What happened to Prince? I was like, this is like Prince when he was like, he had a lien on his house from the IRS or something. So he had to come out with like the most dog shit album of all time. And even on the album cover, his eyes are like, don't buy this. Don't buy this. Who is this? This guy's legit just a streamer, right? 
This is this is just born in the wrong generation or something. It just looks like a streamer. Am I crazy to think that this 90-year-old lady could have sang uh, Jesus Take the Wheel? Yeah, well, I am. Can't smile without you. Let me get a U on that one. I'm sorry. That's maybe a U. The bird. That's a U. Who are you? Who are you, though? That's Carrie Underwood? Bro, that's Demi Lovato. He did sing the bird, too. That is true. More like Carrie under face cam. That's not Kim Kardashian. I think that's Demi Lovato, dude. I don't know. Let me see if my wife is ready to stream. So true. He'll read anything you put on the, on the teleprompter. We've streamed a long, long way together. Through the hard times and the good. I have to celebrate you, baby. I have to raid you like I should. I have to raid you. I have to raid you. I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My sneer could curdle dairy. And violence wise, my hands are not the cleanest. But despite my evil look, and my temper, and my hook, I've always yearned to be a concert pianist. Can't you see me on the stage performing Mozart? Twinkling the ivories till they gleam. Though I do like breaking femurs, you can kill me with the dreamers. Cause way down deep inside, I've got a dream. I've got a dream. He's got a dream.